Water is life. It sustains us and it is integral in all living things. And it really is the reason why we're all here. It's our lifeblood. It's the most important element that we get to enjoy. It gives us our form. It gives us our <laughs> understanding of who we are. It's a vital part of our ecosystem. It's essential. <laughs> An aquifer is one of those mysteries of the natural world that stores water and transmits water in, in the dark, <laughs> outside of er everybody's awareness. Surface water you can see, groundwater just happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week for thousands and thousands a year and nobody knows about it. When you stop to think about, here's a drop of water filling my glass, well, let's just swim upstream. We go up that pipe and up that pipe and down here and pretty soon we end up in a city well and then we end up in the Casper Aquifer. And then we keep swimming upstream, pretty soon we're back at the surface and then pretty soon we're a raindrop going up into a big thunderstorm like we see in a, a hot July afternoon. You can look up here in January to the, the range to the east of town and see all those snow drifts. Well, that's the water that's going to be coming out of your tap here in two, five, ten, fifteen years. I think a lot of people have a hard time envisioning underground water um, but because they'll refer to it as a river underground but it's really more like a giant sponge down there. The sponge is composed of rock, sand particles. Uh, the, the spaces in between those grains fills with water and when we drill down and put our wells in and extract water that's coming out of an aquifer. It will absorb um, materials that are, that are uh, spilled on its, on its surface. The, the Casper is a little bit more than a sponge because imagine that, that sponge being, being cut up into a bunch of vertical little pieces. So it's little discrete sponges that are sort of cobbled together. The only manifestation that something is going on underground is when it pops up to the ground surface like springs. Well, the, the beauty of, of Laramie's situation is, is the old cowboy saying of uh, don't drink downstream from the herd. Well, <laughs> we are upstream from, from all of the herds that extend from here to the Gulf of Mexico. And, and that's a, a unique and, and precious position to be in. The reason our water is so clean is simply because it is that snow melt and rainfall that you can see right there. It didn't wander across the countryside and through 15 different cities water treatment plants. We're getting the thing right straight out of the clouds. It has not had an opportunity to, uh, to be contaminated, to get dirty, uh, which many of us would say gives it a better taste. But the, the reason that we are in a particularly favorable position is simply that we are above the herd. We're near the top where, where this water came from. One serious threat to groundwater quality here is the I-80 transportation corridor and we're always surrounded by tanker trucks with you never know what's inside. If they were to crash and roll over and have a spill then all of that material could easily and quickly enter the groundwater aquifer and contaminate our water supply. Some of the biggest sources of pollutants out in the county are septic tank leach fields where we flush our toilets and let our laundry loads of water go down the drain out to septic tanks that then drain out to leach fields. 
and they all are designed to bring the wastewater down into the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition, sometimes over fertilizing in agricultural areas or at a golf course, cleaning products, household cleaning products that people use out in the county, uh, they all end up in your septic tank leach field systems and, and have the potential to make their way down to groundwater. Thankfully, we've evolved to establishing an awareness of, of what the aquifer is, how it's put together, and why and how it's vulnerable. Thankfully, the de level of development on the recharge area is not extensive. And we have that opportunity to protect the commons here, to, uh, uh, consciously, before things really uh, you know, just go in uh, directions that we, in the future, just say, Boy, I wish we hadn't. I wish we hadn't done that. I have the opportunity here in Laramie for employment, for for shopping, for uh, all of the assets that a community brings, and and we are participants in that community, whether we live physically within the geographic boundaries of the city or not. And we all need to recognize our responsibilities to one another. I think to protect these these uh, natural resources upon which we all depend. To not take care of it would be wholly irresponsible, knowing that. Not everybody gets the fresh, clean water that we do. I think water is essential to who we are as human beings, and we should respect it because it truly is life. Mm -hmm.